Welcome Leos, I'm back with another video guys. If you are new to this channel, welcome, I am the Empress. I'm happy to be here with you guys. All right, go ahead and consider clicking the subscribe button to become a part of our community. We would love to have you here, all right? So for all the ones that's been rocking with me, welcome back, welcome back. We're gonna take a look into December. Yes, I'm aware that I'm a little late, but it is what it is, y'all. I'm here, okay? So let's talk, Leos. Let's see what messages we got for y'all. I'm going to jump in with the Angel Tarot cards, and then we're going to see what we get afterwards. We're going to tie in the tarot. Okay, so let's see. Those of you who want to book a personal reading, that information is in the description box below. All right. For those who want to purchase from the website, guys, the information is below in the drop box. Okay. So let's talk. Leo's. Leo's. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. December. What message is there for my Leos? Leos. Ooh, ooh. Mm, okay. At the bottom, we got unity. So you're coming together with a group of people or a person but we got um traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organization seeking out mentors and like-minded people okay so you're coming together you're unifying with a group of people a person a relationship a business whatever the point of it is is that you are coming together okay got the emperor you feel very much so in charge we know how y'all leos is mm -hmm. we know Y'all love to carry this energy. That comes to y'all naturally. Okay, so let's see what else we got. The Ace of Fire jumped out first. Okay, so this is fire energy. Okay, so you guys have been using your creativity. You have been taking your creativity to the next level. Okay, you're working on something new. You just have that passion, that fire, that desire. It's there. Okay, it's there. It's there. Then the two of fire came out. So we got one, two. So you're making pro you're making progress. Okay. And the two of fire. You come into your own new partnerships or contracts. Continue to move forward, boo boo. Okay, so there is progression. Okay, and something new. Okay, something fresh. The energy, the the vibe of it is so it's there. It's there. All right, so you guys actually have four cards to jump out. We're going to do the six of water. This is uh, the past, okay? This is thinking of things from the past. This could also be children, okay? Then we have the eight of air, okay? So some of you guys are breaking free of a pattern of something. Some of y'all are just getting like breaking free of something that you're used to. A certain way of doing things. I'm feeling like y'all are taking more control of your life. Okay. There's more fire. There's more fire. Six of fire. You guys are on top of your shit. Y'all are getting recognition. Y'all are being successful in whatever creative endeavor you're doing. Okay. This is victory. Good news is on the way. Public recognition and being rewarded. Okay, so something that you guys are doing, you're doing it right. Okay, some of you could have been dealing with a uh, Virgo, but I'm getting like some of y'all came outside of your shell and you did something different and it worked for you. You planted your seeds for something new, and I feel like you got the results that you wanted. Yes, the nine of water. 
As soon as I said you got what you wanted, then the nine of quarter jumps out. This is definitely a wish fulfillment, okay? Something that you wanted, you got it. You got what you wanted, okay? You, you had to fight for it. You had to fight for it. You had to stand your ground. You had to believe in yourself. Queen of fire. You guys, again, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. And you got what you want. You got what you came for. This is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she moves. And everybody's watching her when she's looking at you. Ooh, ooh, you. Ooh, ooh. That's y'all. Okay. They can't stop y'all. They can't stop y'all. Two of fire. Woo. More fire energy. Got the page of fire. Being outgoing, creative, confident. You're, you're pushing forward. You pushing forward. And you're getting reactions. If some of you guys are on social media or some type of platform, you're getting reactions. You're getting followers. It's working. Queen of Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You're taking a more serious approach, okay? You're taking a serious approach here. Why is the Six of Water here? Oh, the Ace of Pentacles. New, new, new. I'm getting like a lot of new, fresh energy. A lot of new money making ideas too. Oh, you manifested this. So you whip this up in a pot with all the right ingredients. And honey, you done made some gumbo and that ain't nobody ever expected for. Ain't nobody still coming. You manifested this. You manifested this idea this new whatever this is you've manifested it okay you did not mess up this opportunity you you did that okay see i feel like some of y'all are coming out of a raggedy list you know season where things didn't go well things didn't go in your favor okay the five of earth is when you know the situation's kind of iffy things are just like on the rocks it just wasn't really a good place you might have just you know it could have been financially or you felt rejected in some way, shape, or form, or left out, or cast it to the side. But see, y'all done came up out of that. Y'all done walked away from all the drama of the situation from the past. Okay, so this is what it's talking about, about the past. You're looking back over your past and how much you've grown. You're tired of feeling tired. You're sick and tired of feeling tired. Okay, you're out of your stability. Some of y'all have cut off. Some of y'all have cut off someone or people or certain ways of viewing things or how you do things. You just, you, you, I feel like there was some type of ending. I feel like you still think about it, but I feel like you look back at it and you're like, you know what? It is what it is. I got a new opportunity now. I feel like some of you guys may be spying, doing a lot of spying on other people. Okay. Um, you're looking back to see what other people are doing. We got the Empress, okay? But you're feeling like the Empress, okay? King of Earth, a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, male could be involved, okay? We got the King of Air, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, male. Um, but you're feeling very much so, like, I'm getting like warrior woman, warrior guy, warrior man. You guys are standing up, okay? You didn't, you're not backing down. You ain't backing down for sure, for sure. You gonna pop your shit, huh? You popping your shit. <laughs> More fire energy. You got the night of fire. Something that you're very passionate about, adventurous, okay? Like, you're coming for everything that somebody said that you couldn't have. You like, okay, well, watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna obtain that and more. <laughs> I fucks with that, Leo. I do. And see, we got justice. Could be dealing with a Libra, okay? But you feel like fair and just decision. Do what you know is right. It's standing up for your beliefs. We got the dreamer. You're out here taking risks. Okay. But make sure you're keeping, keeping your ego in check. Okay. Make sure you're keeping your ego in check. I just had to tell the same thing to Sagittarius. Make sure that y'all keeping your egos in check. Okay. Because you gonna it comes with the territory. We got five of air. Jealousy and hate and envy. That's going to come with the territory. So make sure you're keeping your ego in check. You know. Making sure that you... You're not manifesting drama 
and more pro more problems that come with this magnetic energy that you guys got going on okay so let's take it to the tarot i like that energy for y'all let's see what we get let's see if we can get to the nitty gritty let's see you guys hear noise that's my neighbors i can't do nothing about it they got kids and you know it is what it is all right so you guys should be feeling very childlike like full of energy full of life you know adventurous ready to try new things okay let's see what we got I see the eight of pentacles down here. Some of you guys are working diligently. Like you're building something. You're putting in a lot of effort towards something. Okay. What additional messages are there for Leos for December? Okay. Messages for Leo. All right. Oh, look at y'all. Look at y'all. The Empress. Y'all feeling yourself. Y'all feeling yourself. Oh, 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 oh yeah. <laughs> I'm feeling myself. Oh, 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 oh yeah. Okay. See, something here about the past. It looks like the tarot wants to talk about something that's, that happened in the past. Somebody could have, you could have found out that somebody is a liar. Or there's a third party situation going on. We got the Ten of Swords. And the Sun. You guys, this energy as, as the outcome. Maybe you were waiting for this situation to be illuminated. Maybe you were waiting for something to come to the light. I feel like it does come to the light. And I feel like some of y'all tried something new, but it blew up in your face too. Okay, it blew up in your face. And I feel like um, you may not be speaking to this person, but you're, you know, I feel like you you didn't take really take a loss. You're still good. But I feel like some of y'all already knew what was up. Okay. Some of y'all already knew what was up. But your your energy came out first as a seven of swords. Yeah, somebody was telling lies. Okay, somebody was telling lies. Telling lies. And somebody is, you're holding on to somebody that is buck wild. Let this person go. They're very immature. Um, when it came to when it came to this situation, they were very immature. You're trying to hold on to somebody that does not want to be held on to. Let them go. For sure, for sure. Okay. Let them go. Yeah. See, somebody said that they were going to move on. I feel like you got mad. It started some type of argument. Um, you may have found out that somebody has some options. Okay. And you, you, you possibly let this person make their choice. Okay. Somebody decided to move on. And then I feel like you may be looking, you know, feeling kind of sad about it. Maybe because you thought that you were this person's right person. But look, let me tell you, this person was buck wild. I feel like y'all was a little depressed or upset that this chapter closed, okay? But you also, in the middle of that, you found out that this person was a liar, okay? Yeah, see, you've been giving, you gave this person. This person burnt you out. You gave, gave, and gave, and gave, so you ain't have nothing else to get them, okay? But you found out that this person has some secrets. And also that there was somebody else on the side or somebody could have even gotten pregnant, okay? Why is the heart in here? I'm sensing that someone could be married. Why is the heart in here? Yep. The emperor and the heart. Somebody is definitely like a husband. Okay. And the relationship was over. They may have told you that the relationship was over, but someone here could have definitely been living with someone. Could be married. Could be I already have something going on. Yep, they're married. Ten of Pentacles. Could be a Capricorn here with the devil card here. But this was a real toxic situation and the situation turned out bad. Somebody could have just been there for the money. Okay. This was a big wake up call. 
big wake up call and you're possibly waiting for this person to need you um and you know maybe you feel like they'll reach out but this person has ghosted you and they did not show you their emotions they was just like you know hiding their feelings and their emotions i feel like you wanted more from this person but this just caused disagreements or arguments okay and there was you know third party situations going on there was third parties going on yeah see this person was still married they may have told you that they were separated or they were getting a divorce but you're hope you were steady holding on to this person okay let that person go and if you have already let them go good for you okay so moving ahead for future energy we got the queen of pentacles virgo towards capricorn energy but i'm getting like somebody's calling your phone playing you may get some phone calls or somebody's playing on your phone why is the queen of pentacles here hermit i'm getting a virgo you could be getting a phone call from a virgo okay and chariot this ain't doing nothing but fueling some type of fire okay but you want to see somebody's reaction you want to see how somebody felt about something but i'm getting like somebody's fueling the fire i'm getting a libra could be involved cancer They got the devil and the empress. <laughs> hmm. I'm feeling like y'all getting some type of tip on something. Like some type of tea. Somebody could also be making a status saying that they're single. Yeah, you're hoping that someone comes back or comes running back. Um, yeah, you're hoping that this person chooses to come back to you. But leave that alone. You want this so bad. I feel like you want something so bad. The Nine of Cups and the Lovers. This would be a wish fulfillment if this person came running back to you and cho chose you. You've been waiting for, you've been kind of waiting for that. Six of Cups, yeah, see, King of Wands, you you want this love back. You want this passion and romance back from this person. Queen of Swords, a Libra Gemini Aquarius could be involved. Um, but you want to know how this person feels. Like, you're spying on them. Could be a Sagittarius. Yeah, and there's gossiping going on. Okay, so you're, you're getting gossip from somebody. Ace of Swords. You're getting gossip from possibly a Libra Gemini Aquarius about a guy that you used to date or a female that you used to date. How others are viewing it, how somebody else is viewing the situation, they are hurt or there is a third-party situation, but they're over it. Okay, we got the world. Queen of Cups could be involved. You're waiting to see if the Queen of Cups is going to walk away. Why is the world card here? Yeah, two of wands. Oh, see, yeah, this person is not going, planning on returning. Two of swords. It's not in their plans to, okay? And they may feel like you're trying to force them into doing something. Fool. And it's only going to do, it's not going to do nothing but fuel the fire, okay? So you could be fearing that this situation is over, possibly with the king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We got the ten of swords here. Um... You may feel like this person made that decision, okay? The sun card, yeah. You may be happy, you know, the decision is finally made, but I'm getting you walking away, okay? You're getting tired of, I feel like you, you, you're kind of like tired of the situation anyway. The truth has already revealed itself. Yeah. You really did. I feel like you really did want another chance with this person. And I feel like 
you're gonna uh, wait until this person becomes single again and you may try it again but your intuition you know just might be telling you that you know just to see how it goes why is the magician here yeah see you want what you want you want what you want and I also feel like you're getting you're gonna be getting some surprising news okay Yeah, I'm getting like, I keep getting some shocking news that's getting ready to come in. That somebody's possibly trying to work on something here in private or work on some, I'm getting like working on something in private. Could be with the Pisces with the moon card here. But I'm getting like, you may feel like you didn't get that same attention. You may feel like this person wasn't giving you this same attention or you may find out that this is why the person couldn't give you um, their fully undivided attention. Okay. So that's what I got for you, Leos. Oh, before let me since we since Tara wanted to tell y'all tell y'all past business. Let's see what this person really wants to say to you, and then I'm gonna let y'all go. Your person is going through an awakening. They know exactly what it is that they need to do. Like they're doing this for themselves. They think about you. You're in their dreams. I feel like. I feel like they're really sorry for something that they said. That they said to you. They may have told you that they was ignoring other people, but they lied. They're in a dark place. Okay, they're in a dark place. Um, and they don't feel like you're going to listen to them. They don't feel like you're going to see their side anyway. And I'm telling you, like, they said, they feel like you're pushing them. And they need to make their own decisions. And I'm also getting, why won't you give me space? I can't grow. Okay, so this, this person feels smothered by you or feel pressured by you they feel like they can't make their own decisions you're not you're not uh giving them the opportunity to make their own decisions nonetheless i do feel like this person does care and they think about you but i feel like they're going through some type of awakening and this is something that they need to do for them okay so you guys let me know what's going on in the comment section below if you need to book a personal um, i'm running specials for the month of december and if you would like to uh, check out the website, you can check out the website. All of that information is going to be in the drop box below. All right. I'm going to chat with y'all later. Ciao for now.